How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I paint miniatures to a mediocre standard with piss poor lighting and terrible video quality. Uh, <laughs> today I'm just basing up some of the 10 mil skeletons I painted up. Nothing too crazy here. First time I based miniatures in a hot minute. Um, I wanted something dark so I went with like a really dark base obviously yeah no shit Sherlock but I wanted something to make them pop so I decided to try putting in some flowers and some uh, dead grass tufts let me know let me know how you guys think it turned out I'm all I'm I feel all right with it uh, I got the desired effect although the flowers are as tall as the miniatures I couldn't find any like two mil uh, red flower tufts so you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? All right. Anyways, let's hop into it. All right. Here, nothing crazy. Um, just using some watered-down Elmer's glue just to <clears throat> get the sand that, by the way, I was completely ripped off for. Um, I didn't leave. shouldn't say I was ripped off. Uh, I didn't read the product description. I thought this was a huge bag, and I was getting a great deal. Um... It was like seven dollars, and I thought I was getting a great deal. No, the all the sand you see in that jar is all I got. But yeah, that's enough complaining about sand. Um, nothing crazy. You've all done it a hundred thousand times. Just taking some Elmer's glue, slapping around, trying not to get on the feet. But again, they're ten mil miniatures. I really don't care if I get it on the the, the feet. And this is a terrible, yucky brush. You don't want to use a good brush anyways. For this middle part, I know I'm not going to get every single area, so I'm just trying to get, you know, a heavy coating on in hopes that it'll cover up all the gray pretty much. Not probably going to be too, you know, 100% successful, but from, you know, three feet away on 10 millimeter miniatures, you're not going to see it anyways. So I'm just trying to get as much cover as I can. Here, just doing the old Duncan shake. Um... And give it a quick flick, nothing too crazy. I did have to go back for some reason. I had a lot of sand sticking on the actual miniatures themselves. So at some point I did go back over with a um, uh, a dry brush. And uh, just kind of flick the sand that was sticking to them off. Here I'm just using my finger to uh, get the sand that was stuck to the side. No big deal. I didn't get it all. And then at some point I did decide to switch to a... Uh, a oil painting um, spreader paint spreader to get these off which worked way better than just using my fingers and flicking it back in the sand uh, yeah not a smart move and then once it dried which uh, took a hot minute I put even more water in with this Elmer's glue and then just went over top of all of it just to seal it in that way whenever it was dry time to paint I wouldn't have to worry about flicking sand off which uh, even though I haven't painted in four five four or five years I remember being a uh, common failure of mine so really trying to seal this in don't know why my camera's jumping all over the place here but uh, yeah must have been bumping it or something again you gotta know what you're getting on this YouTube channel you're getting poor video quality and subpar painting Alright, and as usual, I forgot to film something. So, I forgot to film in me painting all the uh, sand black. Nothing too crazy. I just used a uh, whatever black paint I had. I think I used just the uh, Pro Acryl uh, Coal Black, I think, is what I used. Um, nothing too special there. Nothing to really go over. And then I just went over with a dry brush of an ivory I had with uh, just this makeup brush. Yeah, nothing too special. Only did one dry brush. I didn't go over a whole bunch of time. Mixed a bunch of washes. Nope. Just basically a base coat of the black and then a dry brush of the ivory. And that was it. Didn't do anything too extra.
Then it was time to base. And I went for some dead grass and some uh, flowers. Yeah, and this is about the point where I um, glued all my fingers together. Yeah, messing with super glue and tufts. Always great. So yeah, um, apparently these tufts don't like to stick to super glue, and then they like to stick to these little pair of tweezers that came with the tufts, which was cool, by the way. Uh, I definitely appreciated them doing that. But um, yeah, I almost, no, I did not almost. I, in fact, I was successful. Um, even though I didn't want to be successful, I was successful in super gluing my fingers together, or super gluing a tuft to my fingers, or my finger to the base, or the tuft to the side of the base several times um, especially as you'll see once we get to the flowers they were even more of a problem because obviously these tufts are huge so I had to cut them down um, to size or pull them off and try to super glue these individual flowers it was just a pain these dead um, grass tufts weren't as big of a pain as the flower but uh, as you can see there they love to just come off and then tried to just glue straight to the miniature. So yeah, it was great. I, uh, I enjoyed this a lot. I'm just kidding if you can't tell the sarcasm in my voice. And then if those weren't bad enough, we had the uh, flowers. Which, man, were they were a pain. As you can see at this point, I just got to the point where I was just ripping them off putting a glob of super glue down and gluing them down and you know what it didn't turn out too bad it could have been worse um is that situation ideal absolutely not uh, there's a lot of failure doing that but it worked out i got the desired effect uh, and you can see here i got kind of lucky getting a uh, perfect piece ripped off but um yeah that did not happen most of the time, that happened like one out of every three times, which is how I ended up with a bunch of small, tiny red flowers all over my uh, workstation. And then I did add some others that I didn't film, but um, for the most part, what you see is what you get. Ripped some flowers off. Uh, didn't always turn out too good. As you can see here, I thought, um, yeah, I'll try to put the glue on all these flowers I just ripped off and then the glue straight on the base. Nope, didn't happen. They stuck straight to the freaking tweezers. I should have known better. This was the 15th time I uh, glued my fingers together, by the way. And then here's just a look at them. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I also went back and uh, painted the rim of the base um, a darker black. Actually, I think I just went back over because I hit it with the dry brush. And then it covered up any of the, you know, flowers that were hanging over or uh, anything like that. But um, I'm happy with this. I think the red definitely helps them stick out. Um, so does the, the dead grass, but the red, I think, really adds to the effect. And I think it's going to look really good once I uh, get to painting the Blood Knights because they're going to be red also. So I think, you know, the red of the Blood Knights, the red of the flowers, and then putting them uh, on a dark base is really going to be a cool aesthetic once we get that far. But yeah, here's me trying to set up, you know, a, uh, a shot of them from the front. But what have you guys been up to? What have you been painting lately? Here is the uh, completed base scheme. Let me let me know what uh, I could have done better. I don't know that I'm 100% happy with it. I think I could change a few things on the future units. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I've done a little bit more painting since then. I painted up uh, this wonderful model here. See if it'll focus. But uh didn't do a video about it. I don't feel like videoing absolutely everything I paint. That's crazy and I don't have time for it. But got some basin done. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint next week. Either some more cultist. Or some 10 mil zombies. See if I can get these to focus in here. Maybe not. Hold on. 
Well, they don't want to focus, but there they are. Just some 10 mil zombies. Not sure if I'm going to paint them or some more 28 mil stuff or maybe something different. Not too sure yet. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are working on this weekend. What could I have done better? Uh, if you know somewhere to get 2 millimeter like flower tufts, please let me know. Because uh, not sure how I feel about these flowers being as tall as the miniatures. Alright, until next time. Talk to you guys later. Bye.